Hey, 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 Charisma here. Welcome back to Charisma TV. Today's a special day. I'm breaking, bringing some breaking news. Andrew Tate has been released from house arrest. And uh, let's talk about it. Let's get into it. Well, news this morning has broken. Andrew Tate has been released from house arrest after being on house arrest for 10 months. He went back to court this morning, and that was the decision by the court, and uh, which is great news, I think. But let's listen to him in his own words. In January, when I was thrown in a jail cell, media reported and told the world I was a terrible person. They said that I hurt people and I make a lot of money from criminal enterprise. And here we stand seven or eight months later and I've not seen a single victim on the news. I don't know if you have. I've seen lots of girls sticking up for me, lots of people defending me. I've not seen a single person stand up and say that I have hurt them. Not one. It's very exhausting to continue to perpetuate lies. It's very hard to keep lies afloat when you have no actual evidence. We've been completely innocent since the beginning of this, and I have to give absolute faith to the Romanian judicial system for finally making the right decision and letting us free. I'm sure in the end we'll be absolutely exonerated, and everybody who was pushing these lies and reporting things on repeat without any substantial evidence are going to have to analyze within themselves why they decide to try and destroy people's lives purely for views. I've done nothing wrong. God knows I've done nothing wrong in my heart. I know I've done nothing wrong. I think the people at home who are the functioning brain understand we've done nothing wrong because nobody has yet to identify a single victim which is, done, which is saying that we've done anything to them since the beginning of this entire process. Once again, absolute respect to the judge, respect to Romania, respect to the Romanian judicial system. I look forward to being completely exonerated in due time. Thank you. I spent three months in a jail cell, in a dungeon, with cockroaches sharing my blanket with me. Three months. Then I finally got released. Seven months. I've been locked in my house, and today a judge decided to let me go. I want everybody at home to understand exactly why that is. Up until now, all of the imprisonment and the deprivation of my liberty had nothing to do with evidence. It wasn't about evidence in a case file. It was the Romanian judicial system trying to decide if one, I am a public danger, or two, I am a flight risk. And to be fair to them, I am not emotional, I am a professional, even when I am suffering. And I understand as an international man of huge financial resource, it's easy to deem me a flight risk. So my liberty was deprived. Only recently I was charged. This indictment appeared. I want everybody at home to also understand that three different federal agencies from three different countries have investigated my life for the last 15 months. Every photo I've ever taken, every video I've ever made, every conversation I've ever had, every phone call, 2,000 people who know me were contacted, every single ex-girlfriend, my vet, my pool guy, my old house cleaner in an apartment I used to have 11 years ago. You name them. If they had anything to do with me, no matter how tedious the link, they were contacted and they were interviewed. Hotlines were set up. Billboards were made. Has Andrew Tate ever hurt you? Do you have any information on Andrew Tate? The media was offering 50,000 pounds for anybody who would give a negative story to me. Find another man who has hundreds of ex-girlfriends and not a single one of them rolled on me. Not a single one of them for money would say I'm a bad person. In fact, they would all say the opposite and defend me and stick up for me. You want to talk about a man of moral fiber? Find another man who can go through that. There's not another man on the street you can find whose ex-girlfriends who wouldn't turn on him. The media, all over the news. Andrew Tate's the worst man that's ever been. Andrew Tate's a human trafficker. Andrew Tate's a crime boss. He's a crime lord. Andrew Tate has all this money from illicit activities. Every penny I've ever made, all of my bank accounts seized. 15 million euros of assets were taken from me. They've been through every single bank transfer that I've ever sent. All of it, head to toe, to put this indictment together. So when this indictment is finally created, it should be an opera, right? It should be Shakespeare. It should show money transfers, victims, old victims from long ago, videos, pictures, medical records. This indictment should be absolutely bulletproof. The indictment was put together. I was held for six months without charge. That's the longest possible time I can be held without charge. The day before they finally submitted this indictment, it took as much time as they could. They took it down to the wire every minute they could to get this indictment together. And now the indictment's been put in front of a judge. And what has the judge done? The judge has picked up this indictment, looked at it, and said, this is garbage, let him go. They're bulletproof indictment. 
After all I just described, they finally put together a document that the judges instantly said, let him go, this man should not be held. Anybody who believed this garbage, anybody who was insulting me while I sat inside of a jail cell, saying that maybe I am a human trafficker because of some stupid video from 10 years ago, any of these people who once insulted me or refused to defend me because they were scared, and that is the same thing. Don't think I haven't realized a whole bunch of people who are my friends now and on my team now and are now begging me to bring views to their shit podcasts didn't have very much to say while I was sitting in a fucking jail cell. Not very much at all. Don't think I don't know. Me and my team know exactly who was on my team and who wasn't. And I also know what I have done and what I have not done. And God knows the same. It doesn't matter if I get fucked at the end of this. It doesn't matter if I get completely destroyed. It doesn't matter if they put me in jail for life. I know what I have done and I know what I have not done. And I find absolute sol solace in that. Now I am free. Yes, I will remain free until the trial date when this garbage is finally thrown out and my name is absolutely not really clear. Anybody who believes any of this garbage is going to regret it because I tell you something, Tristan said something to me in that jail cell was completely true. He said, 13 years in the Chateau d'If and then the world is ours. If you have not read The Count of Monte Cristo, I strongly recommend that you do. In my final act of defiance, against the matrix. I've decided for my first day of freedom, I will visit the mosque and I will pray to God because Allah is the best of planners. And then I will return to my house and stay home. That's right. You locked me up for 10 months. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? I'm a bit tired. I'm going to stay in my house. That's what I'm going to do. I only want to talk to God and I want to be by myself. I don't want to talk to any of these snakes, any of these people on the internet trying to get views out of me, any of these people who pretend they support me and give a shit. When I really, at the, when it gets down to the wire, it's me in a jail cell, me and my brother by ourselves. And all these other people don't seem to fucking give a fuck until there's views involved. Lies get tired. Lies get exhausted. It takes untold energy to continue to prop up a lie. It goes against the laws of physics. There's only so many times you can tell the world I'm a human trafficker with no evidence. Where's the girls? Where's the videos? Where's the victims? Where's the pictures? There's nothing. How many times can you continue to repeat the same garbage with no evidence? Nobody believes it. The moral arc of the universe bends towards truth. And I tell you something, when I am released from all of this, I'm going to use my massive platform and enormous financial capability to launch a charity to prevent this happening from any man ever again. This is enough and it's going to have to stop and I'm going to stop it. And there you have it in Andrew Tate's own words. Now, I would like to encourage you uh, to, I've done extensive, uh, uh, what do you call it? Sort of, you know, showcasing Andrew Tate in different interviews that he's done here on the show. And the last one I did was the one with Candace Owings. And I did that in two parts. So I'd like to encourage you to go and watch those. Andrew Tate explains a lot about the cases, explains about a lot of the so-called evidence that they have against them, which is pure, pure, pure bullshit as far as my concern. And um, as a man, you should be very, very afraid. You should be very, very concerned because women today have power and a woman can accuse you of something that you haven't done. And you may go through the, the legal process, you may go through a trial, and it will be proven that you are innocent. But at the end of the day, the damage is done. Your life is, is pretty much messed up. If you have a career in business, well, that's in shambles. Your reputation, it's gone to hell in a handbag. Your credibility, there isn't none. And pretty much your life is, is over, right? Your life is over when a woman accuses you of something that's not true, it's false. And even if you prove it after months or years in a court trial, you prove your innocence. You prove that she lied against you. It doesn't matter. And at the end of the day, the results are still the same. The outcome is still the same. Your life is pretty much over. You can't come back from it. Do you know how many men has been accused by women who have accused them falsely of graping or assault or some kind of some kind of thing that turned out to be not true? And it doesn't matter at the end of the day if they're not true because it sticks with you for the rest of your life. So if you're a man and you're gloating about what Andrew Tate is going through, 
I be, I want to invite you to re-examine your heart and your thoughts. Because everything that you hear in the media, everything that you read in the news, is clearly not true. So be very, very weary as a man, because this world doesn't like you. This world is against you. And that is is the real talk. Okay. So before I move on, I want to show you something else, how Andrew is celebrating this news, what he's currently doing. Um, before I wrap up this episode, where is it? Um, a lot of memes, a lot of memes here on Twitter. And you know, the haters going to hate. They're going to find all kind of, um, okay. I should just go to his, to his, um, okay. So here it is. Wow. Look at that spread. Looks amazing. Yummy. And that's it. So I wanted to share that with you. And yeah. That is it, my friends. Andrew Tate has been released from house arrest after 10 months. Uh, I mean, they've taken away 15,000, 15 million dollars worth of assets. God knows if there is going to be returned 10 months of his life. He hasn't left the house. And then, well, it, this is a combination of being arrested in jail, three months in or 96 days in jail and the rest on house arrest in total 10 months. So almost a year and it's not over. And I've been seeing the haters have come out. They're finding all kinds of garbage. I really invite you to watch the Candace Owen interview here in my channel, here in the channel and the show um, where he talks about explaining a lot of the, the stuff that's come out. And in terms of videos of he's not proud of that he's done and how he's communicated, he is not proud of those things. And he wished he didn't do those things. And, you know, we all grow, we all develop, we all mature. And when we're younger, we do dumb and stupid things. And sometimes those things come back to haunt us. And it's unfortunate. But in this day and age of social media, anything that you record, whether it's a text or it's a video or some kind of audio, it will come back to haunt you if something, for God forbid, you find yourself in the spotlight. People will dig up dirt just to throw fire, so to add fuel to the fire, whether you are guilty or not. So men, because I'm speaking to the men, this show is for men. Uh, the work that I do is for men and 90% of my audience are men. So I am speaking to you directly, men, okay? Don't gloat, don't think that you're above don't be over there thinking, ah, ha, 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 he, 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 he's a this, he's a that. Because it, he, it doesn't take for anyone, a man to be anything, for him to be accused and thrown in jail without any substance, or without any proof, without any truth. So, you know, when it affects one, it affects all. So, it, if, you know, he is a man, trust me, today for him, tomorrow for you. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Until next time, Monday here is a holiday. So our next, my next show will be back on Tuesday. I hope that you had a, have a fantastic weekend. And if you are I'm not sure if it's a holiday on Monday in the U.S., but definitely here in Canada, have a great weekend. Until next time, take care and bye for now.